Welcome to LP Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Cool. Yeah. Staring at me. <laughs> it's looking right at her. My very first Laker. They're huge. <laughs> I love them because they look like. The best eating fish out there. Yeah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any of these great adventures. It's going to be an epic fall. All right, guys, I don't remember who it was, but a while back, somebody said that next time I do fish, instead of doing the potato breading, I should try it with a potato chip breading. So that's what I'm going to do. I went and bought some, uh, I think it's Lay's, um, like, which one was it? Cheddar sour cream or something like that. Um, but I bought it yesterday, so I'm going to crush that up, throw it in a bag, um, throw my steelhead in there that you guys just seen me catch. And right now I've got the steelhead in the sink, butter in the pan. I'm going to fry it up in butter and it should be amazing. So let's see what happens. Butter here in the pan here getting ready to cook up. Steelhead here ready in the sink. I cut it up into four portions. That way it's easier to get in the pan. All right. Lay's cheddar and sour cream. It's one of my favorites. Let's throw it in the bag, crush it up, and get ready. Easier to do this with two hands. Tell you what, guys, it's hard to believe, but that right there is almost an entire bag. And this is just a quart bag. It's almost an entire bag of Lay's, like a $5 bag of chips. And that's not even a half of a quart bag. <laughs> that's sad. I hope that's enough. All right, I just shook them up in the bag, pulled them out. Again, I like to start my salmon and trout off skin side down. That way I'll let the skin side brown up a little bit and then I'll flip it with a spatula after that browns up some. You'll know when it browns because you'll see it start to brown up around the bottom edge. Now I'm going to throw the last two pieces in with the remaining chunks and that should be just enough for this. So basically one steel head <laughs> takes almost a bag blaze. Alright, starting to brown up. Look at that. Side didn't brown up as much as the other side must be getting a little more heat now it'll be important to let this cook enough to uh, tighten up otherwise it's all gonna flake apart when I try to flip it again but when the underside is cooking that's basically that's the part you want cooked anyway the skin is just nice to have crispy but I don't let it go too long on the meat side because that butter doesn't take long to cook through there and cook it. So, yeah, looks good though. All right, this one's nice and done. See, I got golden brown both sides, and it's pretty firm. When the fish gets firm, you know it's you know it's done. This one I want to flip over again. Oh yeah, look at that. The meat side's good, but I want to flip it again just to get a nice crisp going on that skin side and uh, I'm gonna throw in the other fish now too all right last pieces are in there right now cooking up guys that's how the other two turned out one broke on me but yeah smells delicious mm. oh I got it all in one piece <laughs> the first one broke it's not easy to keep salmon and trout together look at that that is a big meal right there, just one fish. All right, this is my first time ever trying the uh, potato chip fish. As you can see, the dogs are trying to get their sniffs in. It does smell good, I give them that. Now, let's see if it passes the taste test. I know that they wouldn't care, they'll eat anything. <laughs> Alright, that is really good. I like that. I probably should have seasoned it myself. Because I'll tell you, I think when you cook the potato chips, the potato chips probably lose some of their seasoning. But, uh, yeah, that is good. I do, I do think, though, that my instant mashed potato mixes, I think that beats it. So make sure if you haven't tried those yet, give them a shot. The sour cream and chives one is a favorite of mine, and garlic and... 
uh, what was it, garlic and cheddar, I think. But yeah, this is definitely good. I'll have to try this with some other potato chips. If you guys have any potato chips that you prefer over others, let me know what to try on this. I'm always happy to try other stuff out. Um, yeah, and I'm sure uh, I'm sure the girls, uh, Ru Ruby likes it, and Gemma definitely likes it. So, yeah, definitely good. I'm going to sit here and eat my dinner. Thanks again for uh, you guys giving me the idea. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think. This season of LT Outdoors Trapping is brought to you by Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. They are located in Iowa, and they carry some awesome lures and baits. You'll see me use them in this show. Now, if you want to order from them, you can call this number or check them out on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah.